In today's video, I'm going to go over what I believe to be one of the best running uh, plays in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, my channel is devoted to helping you take your Madden 21 game to the next level through tips and strategies just like this one, where I go over specific plays, specific breakdowns that can help you really win. And you can add this to your own playbook. Again, this is the West Coast playbook, but this play isn't found in other playbooks as well. And you can add this little concept um, play to your to your playbook so if you want to get better in Madden um, I would just encourage you right now to go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen you can also click that little bell icon to turn on notifications because we upload again four times a day you don't want to miss an upload but we also live stream every single night and show our tips in real live gameplay uh, in Madden NFL 21 so you can catch every live stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time on my YouTube channel all right, guys, we're going to talk about, um, we're in the West Coast playbook. One of the best formations this year that no one really has talked a lot about is the tray open offset. And I want to talk about a couple specific plays. We're going to talk about the running plays from it. Uh, we'll talk about the passing plays from it as we get into our West Coast scheme. But I want to specifically talk about a couple of plays. First and foremost, the 5-6 trap. The second play I want to talk about is the read option. And the third play I want to talk about is the counter. And then the fourth play is the RPO zone peak. RPO zone peak is really good. And you want to run this with some type of mobile quarterback. So Kyler Murray, Lamar Jackson, um, those are the kind of quarterbacks you want to run with. And then at running back, I like J.K. Dobbins more than my, Mark Ingram for this uh, specific, um, specific play. But first and foremost, 5-6 uh, trap. So 5-6 Trap, in my opinion, is one of, it, it might be the best running man 21. It's up there. Um, you're going to get really, really good blocking on this no matter what. So literally, you're going to be able to come out. You can run this every single play. I mean, it's very hard to stop this run um, for negative yards because that pulling guard is going to get that kick out block. And what that's going to allow is it's going to allow you to just simply run straight at the middle of the field. And you see right here, no inside stuff ability is going to stop it. There's no defense in the game, in my opinion, that's going to shoot it necessarily necessarily um, they're gonna have to just give up a yard I mean it's a really really good running play I feel very very confident running this on fourth and inches third and inches I mean it's this play gets really really good blocking as you can see I mean it's a very very effective running play basically what you're gonna do is you're just gonna read your guard if your guard gets that kick out block then you're just gonna run right underneath it and about 99% of the time your guard is gonna get a kick out block um, but like right here you know even in something like this you see the inside just opens up and one double juke once you get through the line, one double juke to the backside, and you're going to be out. Um, it doesn't matter really. Um, you you can you know you could run it as a power run to the outside on the right, if they're um, you know let's just say they're you know they're going to the next level and maybe they're run committing, maybe they're pinching their defensive line. What you'll see is it's still going to work for a yard. That's what's so powerful about the run. Um, it's a consistent one yard gain every single time. As you can see, I mean, it's just a really, really good run play. One thing you can do is if you want to, you can use double jukes to cut. So if you want to cut to the right, you just go right through that hole and then you're going to double juke out to the right. Most of the time, though, guys, I would say, like I said, 99% of the time, you're going to run this play right down the middle. Right there would have been one scenario where I should have cut it to the outside and I messed up the read. But, you know, basically you're just reading your guard. If your guard goes outside, you go inside. If your guard goes inside, you go outside. That's pretty much the simple formula that I use. So I'm just watching the guard here. And there he goes, oh, okay. And now here you see I get outside and, you know, we're able to go. This is one of the best runs in the game. Guys, if you haven't already jumped in the channel Discord, I want to encourage you to do that. That link is in the description of this video. Discord is a great place to be able to connect with other Madden players, learn from them, and also share your insights as well. So you can join that in the description. All right, guys, the next play that I want to talk about is read options. So this is more of an inside run scheme, but basically um, this is really what you want to run when you want to run directly down the middle um, or you want to run, you know, basically, you know, this is what I like to run when, the, when, the, when I just – want to test their um, their read defense because what's going to happen is oftentimes they're going to crash down and you see here if you got a good mobile quarterback like a Lamar Jackson they can't do that I mean they just can't do that the tray open is really really good uh, for read option because it's really going to isolate that read defender and you see here one double juke and you're out and you're able to rock and roll so to me the read option is really 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 powerful out of this uh, specific formation you'll see here just easy RPO 
um, style, and you just get such good blocking. So the read option is really good, especially if you think they're going to option the running back. Now, if they option the quarterback, it's still effective. Um, you'll see right in here, you get this, you get a little bit better inside zone blocking. And what I would honestly recommend you do is if you're running this, and let's say, you know, let's just say they pinch, and let's say that maybe, you know, maybe they option the quarterback. Let me just show you what's going to happen. Um, read option, you can actually run this, you know, as an either inside or outside. It's just basically reading the safety. If the safety goes outside, you go inside, and if the safety goes inside, you go outside. The next play that I like from this is the counter run. This is really, really good. Um, counter runs are really good this year. Um, as you can see by the negative one yard I got, um, it's really good. You, you want to run it against specific defenses. Like you can't just, I'm running it against random plays because I want to show you it against all kinds of different defenses. But when they start over committing, like maybe they're shifting their line to stop the trap, something like this, this is where the counter can really be powerful because it's just a simple run play. And in my opinion, counter is a two window run. You can run it inside or you can run it outside. You make one good double juke and ice. It's going to isolate the safety on the left side. That's what it's going to do. What I like about it is it really does look like five, six trap, but you're running now left. And most of the time, most of the time on the counter run, when you run it against the right look, you're going to be able to, um, you can actually run it inside. Um, and that's what I love about counter runs. That's where I go back and say there's two window run plays. So you could run them. If the defense is spreading wide, just run it straight ahead. Literally just run the ball straight downhill. You're going to find, again, this is where I go back to, you know, kind of one of those tips I did several, several weeks ago, using the double juke as cutbacks is very effective. So if I want to cut back to the right, I'm going to double juke left right and i got it i was a little bit late there double juke left right i can cut it all the way back to the right side and you're going to see just it just isolates the defense in a unique way in my opinion and there's a lot of power in that this year but counter is basically inside left or outside left run you can do either inside or left that's what i like about it it's a true three-headed rushing attack from this formation um, and you know, you mix this in with the read option, it's going to be very effective for you. But most of the time, guys, I'm going to be running five, six trap. I do want you to understand that, but if they're just over committing to five, six trap, that's where this run can be really effective. And you see how the counter can also serve you as a inside left or inside right run because of the way the blocking, like this is a pretty good look for counter. Um, and of course, Preston Smith just block shedding me like crazy, but you know, overall, this is a really, really good little um, little running play for you. I feel like counter gives you really unique blocking. So if, any, if 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 everything else is not working, try the counter, and you'll be surprised at how well the counter will work for you. That's at least been my experience so far. And then the last play I want to share with you today is the RPO zone peak. What I love about this play is if they, I'm telling you right now, you see that Sullivan did drop back out of that. But I want to I want to cover one little quick thing with this. And that is that most people um, for their run defense are going to be spying their safeties, maybe doing something like this. Even if they pass commit on this RPO, what you're going to see is this slant route is always going to get inside positioning if they press. So if they run man coverage, that route's always going to get open. That's what I like about it. Um, pretty much always this route is going to get isolated on the left side of the screen. And so if they're running man to man, as I say, it's always going to be open. Most of the time, he's going to get an instant win. If he doesn't get an instant win, then you can't throw it. But most of the time, he will. But what I want to also show you and highlight real quickly for you is if they're running zone, let's say they're running like Tampa 2, you can actually throw this little quick screen. Um, you have two blockers outside right, and you see here, very, very easily can throw that. And then lastly, what I want to show you is for the RPO zone peak, um, you'll see that I can basically run it like a quarterback draw. So the defense will basically over commit to stopping the run. And then I can basically run, run either right, left or middle, depending on what's open. Most of the time, my experience has been that if they're running man to man, the left side's going to be open. So you see here, I can just outrun them with Lamar or if they're running zone, the right side's going to be more open. So if I'm running this, you know, running zone, You'll see here I can run, I can run to the right just like this and have a bunch of blockers out here. This is just one little wrinkle, but I'll tell you what, I have found that this run play is actually also really, really good because the defense is just gonna they're gonna automatically take the running back. 
they're going to automatically almost always take the running back with this because of the way the play is designed. So you can easily just run in with your quarterback in behind it. That's what's really cool about it. Um, the Packers are shedding me like crazy in practice mode, but I promise you this play works really, really well in in, in um in head-to-head -head mode you see there that's kind of what I'm talking about you can run right up the middle with your quarterback especially if you have a mobile quarterback um, to run this and still you can hit your you can hit your slant um, if the slants open you know I personally just like to look at the slant I don't really look at the, the the screen that much because I feel like this specific screen gets picked off more than the average screen so essentially what I'm doing on this play is I'm going to look to the slant. If the slant gets that inside position, and you see there, if Sullivan if Sullivan drops back like that, then I know I can run with my quarterback. But if Sullivan doesn't drop back, so I'm basically reading the slot. You see there he came, he came in. I didn't hold it long enough. But, or I didn't throw it fast enough. But he came in with, the, with, with Sullivan there. Um, here you see he comes out. So now I know, okay, I can run with the quarterback. And again, you're not going to get it completely right every single time you're gonna to need to lab this run up a little bit because this run is a little bit unique but for the most part I find this run to be very very effective once I've established all of my other runs um, this is kind of the last the last little run that I like to use and it works really really well so anyways guys that's the gun tray open that's some running plays for you from the West Coast playbook there's a lot of good stuff in the West Coast playbook guys working right now on an ebook for that but if you haven't already picked up our um, our Madden 21 personalized coaching sessions, I would encourage you right now to go into the description and check out those coaching sessions. There, There's a link to pick them up in the description of this video. And those coaching sessions are truly going to help you really improve your Madden 21 game, in my opinion. They're just so effective, and they just do so much for you because you walk in. I have notes that we're going to go over, and then we get in the game, and then I can under I can kind of unpack all of the little bitty details that really help you go from beginner to elite player in this game. So just want to encourage you to pick those up in the description of this video. We've got more videos coming for you today on YouTube, so be sure to stay subscribed. And be sure to stay uh, tuned to the YouTube channel. I've got some videos I want you to check out right now on your screen. But our channel is going to be uploading several more videos today as well as we're going to be live streaming tonight um, at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So join the Discord, pick up a coaching session if you would like to, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your time, and we'll see you later tonight.